Knock, knock, everybody. Hello, and welcome to Tuesday on the Star to Stone show with little old me. You all know who I am. So, first things first, can you hear me? Oh, I've been waiting for this call for ages. It's Kevin, my mechanic. Sorry about that. Very important phone call. I was waiting for it, hence having the phone there and answering it. That was Kevin, the mechanic of magnificence. Probably one of the very few people I would trust to touch my car and not do stuff that he doesn't need to, you know. I'll show you for why. I'm going to introduce you to my new car. She's not new, but she's new to me. So you you know what I mean. So I'm going to introduce introduce you to Branwen. This is my new car. And she's 12 years old. And she's a Land Rover Discovery. And she's magnificent. She really is. Um, never thought I'd ever own a Land Rover, but since my unfortunate events at the beginning of last month, uh, a friend of mum's who had a couple of vehicles, um, lent me one. And so I was driving around in this Land Rover Discovery. And can honestly say I th the best thing I've ever driven ever, ever. And my last car was an Audi, and that was pretty good. In fact, that was the best car ever. But this one, just mind blown, mind blown. So I picked her up. I've had her a week now and the first job that needed to be done well maybe it didn't need to be done but it needed to be done in my head was the oil and filters had to be changed and um so that was kevin kevin the mechanic he's done the oil and filters and tweaked another couple of bits and she's ready so after the show i'm off to pick her up my Kevin's 20 odd miles away so you know that's how much I trust him to do what's necessary anyway uh what was I saying I got into my car yeah there's another thing about the car that it took me a little bit yes Rob you don't know what goes on in my head honestly there is there's stuff in my head you just don't want to know about but it keeps it going it really does um what was i saying yes oh yeah um big car though big car and it took me a lot of a great deal of thought to actually decide to go for it because big cars, big engines, more pollution, and so on and so on. And that was a difficult aspect of it. But in my researches, uh, my, my research is the engine that's in this one isn't the biggest. It's probably the smallest engine that's in a Land Rover. Um, 
is not hugely mass more massive than the one that I had. Um, the fuel usage that I've, yes, it does use a bit more, but not excessively so. So taking those factors into account, I was started to lean more over to it in a, in a more comfortable manner. But the biggest factor for me in deciding to go for it and probably the 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 one that trumped everything else was the fact that i can get mum in and out of it a lot easier than anything else i've ever had so there you go that's my new car and kevin's just done the thing and i've got comments so let's go and have a look down here and see what's what. Uh, no people can hear me because Neshi said so. So who's we got? Neshi and Sherry. Hi, Sherry and Rob. I was about to say there was no sound, but I realised oh, the volume turned down. Ha ha. That's why I have oil and filters in my head, Rob. Um, so who else is around today? Sherry and Neshi. And Robin McCarthy Lee, hello. And Polly Joe, hello. And Stephanie Williams and Andrea Wright. Everybody's saying good morning and hello. And so that's the beginning. And this just this note from Sherry. Yes, did turn out to be the most wonderful outcome. I've had thoughts about this. I've been thinking about this. Um. that everything, in my view, there's always a reason behind it, somewhere along the line. So, and I had that in mind when the incident itself had happened, or rather not immediately, but soon after. And one of the things that I always do is to keep keeping mum in my prayers and to ask that she be able to enjoy whatever life brings to her, um, to enjoy all aspects of her life, you know, with the health issues that she's got. She does struggle sometimes, but, you know, when she can, she's quite always been very sociable and getting out is an important aspect of life, meeting people. Uh, anyway, so I've just noticed Rob messaging down here. I'm going to bring that up. Um, Anyway, so back to the story. Um, where was I? So, mom in prayers all the time, as are many people. But so the cars that we've had recently, especially the last one, mom was, was always very difficult getting in and out. And the last one was the one that she actively tried to avoid going out in, even though it was basically the same car as we had before. So I'm thinking that this incident happened for mum's benefit. And I'm just going to have to accept that and drive a Land Rover. So there you go. That's my new car. That's the story of it. And um, so that's part of the new year. This is what we've got. We have a brand spanky new year. We have survived another one. So let's see what we can do with the next one and do more than just survive it. That's what I think. I think we should do more than just survive. So. Does anybody have any ideas and plans and thoughts for their own 
Um, year ahead. Let's hear it. Tell me, tell me, tell me. And I'm going to sh Indeed, Rob, she can indeed rove the land. It's uh, honestly, it's a different world in there. The, uh, there's so much space. Never had this much space in a car before. It's just unbelievable. I actually fit in it. Unlike I'm not squashed. It's wonderful. So the new year. Now I've got some thoughts and initial ideas and plans that are rattling around in my oily filtery head. So let's have a share. So I'm going to start. One of the things I need to do for myself and it's, nothing is ever just for me. You know, there's always going to be a benefit somewhere along the line for, for somebody else. But I have got quite a library of books that I haven't read yet, which is quite shocking. It's definitely shocking to me. Um, so part of my entire year is going to be dedicated to the to my studies not just books of in general but more specifically towards druidry and more specifically towards spirituality and magic and all the the, the entire path that i'm walking anyway but last year was very difficult in many regards. But I think that those difficulties were preparing me to take these next steps, which are going to be more in depth and more difficult in many, 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 many ways. So that's the first thing. That is my first ambition is it an ambition or is it a mission well i'm going to do it anyway that's my first thing i don't make new year's resolutions we all make new year's re well i don't not everybody does but i don't see the point in making a new year new new year's resolution because you can choose to make a resolution and a change in your life at any point during the, the during the year you don't have to wait to the new year and if you feel that need to make that change whether it be for health reasons for study reasons whatever the reason may be you can do it as soon as you think about it so let's not wait for new year we get a good idea let's just do it so i've just got some comments here polly joe's planning a big move to the ocean which one tell us more i live about a mile from the north sea um robin is working out details of starting reiki and other skills as business out of the house superb plan i approve that plan you may continue as if you need me to tell you that. That was me being funny. Um, what's Rob? Starting a new course of study and recently found a teacher in this field. Which field, Rob? Tell us more. Tell us, tell us more. So, yes, there's... Um, Maine, the Atlantic Ocean. Apparently it gets chilly and snowy up there. Um, I've seen it on the TV. But it also looks quite spectacular. So congratulations and mm, huge good luck with that, Polly. Definitely. Um, 
uh, gathering momentum and strength for an expansion of your journey. Yes, indeed. And I think that's exactly what it was. Um, and I kind of think it's, um, it's important for us to look on whatever the events may be that are happening around us and to us and not just us to the people around us what the where that might take you why is it happening there's a blessing in everything somewhere for us somewhere we just need to be brave enough to look for them um well it's my pleasure um Yes, I think we're all excited for you on that one, Polly. Um, and the Kabbalah, very exciting stuff, Rob. Very exciting. Use, uh, I think that in many ways, as with much that is spiritual, is you'll, it's, you never stop learning and anybody excuse me hair in my mouth that's what um, having a beard does for you um uh yeah anybody that is making any steps on a spiritual path and finding the teachers and the knowledge of whatever flavor it may be it's it's a lifetime journey it never ever ends um those people who say they know everything and have learned it all are just generally wrong i in with the in the great scheme of things i know barely anything really when you look at the knowledge and wisdom that is out in the universe so much more than i'll know in this lifetime so but then that's a good thing because it never stops there's always something new to learn and that's what's really exciting um where are we so yeah fabulous rob fabulous um, so who else? Chilly and snowy in Massachusetts too. Okay, so you're used to it. It's not like moving to Maine from the Bahamas, which would be a bit of a shock, I think. Oh, what am I doing? Pressing buttons twice. Um, Neshi has plans to start expanding star nations and writers it sounds very exciting um paul and i will be purchasing purchasing an rv to some weekend getaway so we can take george with us comfortably oh that sounds very exciting Nashi. my dad always wanted one he he always wanted a um a volks a Volkswagen camper van, you know the old ones, either one with the bay window at the front or the or the split screen, preferably. They were, yeah, they were fab. We had we rented once once, and this was back when I was two, so I don't remember much of it, but I do remember it, and it was red and cream, and we had a bit of a trip around europe in it that was when i was two um that was fun i think if i remember correctly it was a long time ago um renewing spiritual practice chanting and drumming now that is awesome beans donna that is that is fabulous yeah it's so much that we can do and change and learn good morning to constance and Rob's saying Maine is beautiful. I 
believe so. It's uh, yeah, I've only seen it on the TV. I would expect Polly Joe has already had the comment of maybe you'll bump into Stephen King. Who knows? Maybe you will. Um, now. Where are we? There you are. Vision board is a great way to bring visual inspiration, new focus for my plans. Oh, that's a fabulous idea. That really is a fabulous idea, Sherry. Yeah, that's just fantastic. I might I might steal that idea. In fact, I think I will. Um, so yeah, we've all got some just some fabulous and exciting things happening really is um for all of us in many different ways excuse me my ears have popped that's better um and the thing is i'm itching to dive in to all my stuff itching to but you can't if i don't do any today have i failed well no because there's always tomorrow and the next day and so on and so on if i don't do anything today because of circumstances whatever they may be then the point is not to beat myself up about it and just let it roll and pick up my books and research and everything when I can and not worry about how long that's going to take whether I only get one little bit done this year at least I've made that start again um you know, proper dedicated studies. That does, I'm not, I mean, we're always learning something somewhere along the way throughout the year. But the dedicated studies, you know, you can't, if I can't do it today, then I've got tomorrow. And not to worry about whether it's not tomorrow or the next day. You know, it's breathe through it and take it, take each step when. <laughs> it's the right time to take that step that's what i think so um what else was i going to talk about um i think books i was going to introduce i i know i've probably mentioned these books before but it's the new year i thought i'd just give you everybody a reminder in case because i don't i often get lots of um questions about druidry and where you can learn more so the two books i want to bring to your attention again are both by Penny Billington. Um, I'm just going to hold it up to the camera like this. Penny Billington, The Path of Druidry. Fabulous and wonderful book. It's full of information of, oh, so many things. It's really chock full of information and for anybody that's interested even of a you know just passing curiosity this is glorious wonderful book to have so i highly recommend it um we'll put some links up on the page somewhere where you can find them if anybody was interested they are all available on amazon amazon us amazon because i checked i thought 
because most of you are over there, I thought I'd better check you can get them rather than have to import them or anything silly like that. All oh, there's Kindle versions. I don't do Kindle versions. I like books, but that's just me. Um, I think everything goes on a Kindle now. I actually haven't got a Kindle. Audio books are fun, though. I did get one. I got an audio book. Oh, what was it? Um, it's called Norse by Neil Gaiman. And he it's actually him reading his own book. And that is just a wonderful, wonderful book. Um, it's all Norse mythology, Thor and Odin and Freya and the giants. It's a great, great book. Um, it's it's obviously got his voice and the way he oh it's 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 both it's entertaining and really educational about the the whole Norse mythology. Um so if anybody was interested in that one, that's on the iTunes. I did find it on the iTunes and I downloaded it. Um and I, I have listened to it, and I'm going to listen to it again because it's really entertaining. Um, so, oh, I've got more comments. Um, sometimes it just stops. I don't know why. I'm just, well, you know, me and technology have a difficult relationship. Um, so i go down. Uh, discovery that Jewish scholarship is on a different level that than anything else, uh, anything I've experienced. Indeed, indeed, indeed. And in many ways, it doesn't matter if the culture from where that knowledge comes from, it doesn't matter if that's different to our own culture, if it speaks to us, if it speaks to us and you need to learn it, then you need to learn it. But equally, you need to be permitted to learn it. Does that make sense? It kind of made sense in my head. Um, uh, Neshi, continuing practice with meditation. Yeah, I need to do more of that. Yeah, I kind of not been so on top of it this year or last year. This year, I'm going to be. Um, Yes, lots of people. Um, Sharon Rosenblum is one of the st stars, has studies the Kabbalah, 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 Kabbalah. Um, still studies the practices. Yeah, it's um, fascinating stuff. I've got a book somewhere. I just can't remember where I put it at the moment. Um, what else? Uh, seen Stephen there before. Very close to where I, I want to land. Well, there you go then. I, uh, I've read many of his books over the years. I have many. I'm not sure which my favourite though. Uh, Yay, drumming, always, that's always. Ah, there we go. There's the link, um, The Path of Druidry. That's Penny Billington. That's just one book there. Um, yes, please do, links, please, please do. Uh, make, Kindle makes an app for pretty much all platforms. Yeah, I'd rather have a book, Rob. That's, there's something about, this uh, there's, there's there's a reality to it there's a physical there's a weight and a physicality to it i mean that's why books still exist you know there are so many digital ways of looking at stuff and there's nothing wrong with that um and it's really useful. It's a really useful tool to hop on the Tinterweb and look something up. But there's a, a reality to this 
this work it's in my hands it's physical and that's how i that's my preference i'm not saying it's the right way or the only way it's just my way and i i think a lot of us do feel that way but i that's just for me for me that's uh that's how I like to like to uh, read. So this is the link to the second book that I wanted to mention, also by Penny Billington. This is the second book about Druidry, but more specifically to three of the trees that are sacred to the Druids. Uh, the Wisdom of Burke, Oach, Birch, Oak and You. So this is another great, great book. Oh. Uh, let me just show you. Where is it? Yeah. I got mine signed. Anyway. So. Um, that's just two of the books. There's, oh, if you type in Druidry and books, let me just bring that up again. I'm sure you'll be able to click on it and link on it and things at your leisure. Um, oh, I've lost my train of thought again. What was I saying? No, I don't know. It's gone. If somebody could remind me, that would be awesome. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. What 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 was I talking about? I just don't know sometimes. Ah, more things. Um, anyway, so two books, Penny Billington. Oh, that was it. Back to authors. There are if you if you if you type if you search Druidry or druid books and so on and so on there are going to be hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of options and authors and it can be oh what which one do i pick i just don't know it can be very difficult so um penny billington those are the first two i i i, I would actively um, recommend I would act a hundred percent without any hesitation recommend her work there is another one and I'm going to bring this up now before I get back to comments is uh, Druid Craft this is by Philip Cargom. Now, he is currently the chosen chief of the Druid order that I belong to. Um, this one. There we go. That's it. Druidcraft. I could have made these pictures, but everybody seemed to like me holding the, the items up to the camera, so I've stuck with it. Um, again, fabulous book and he is a fantastic writer and i'm going to come back onto him in a bit um just let you see that again and all those are yeah all are, all can you can find them all on amazon you can find pretty much every anything you want on amazon between you and me don't tell amazon this but between you and me i don't like amazon don't like it but i always find the stuff that i want on it and it's never in the shops in my local town in fact there's very little in my sh local shops that i want so i suppose i just 
better stick with Amazon. Um, so yeah, I'll come back to Philip in a short while. But if there's, there's oh no, I can I I can make comment, can't I? Somehow, right on the screen. Um, there's another lady. I would suggest if anybody's interested in looking up this is another um, author uh, that I met recently I spoke to her quite quite a bit and she was she's uh, and I've I've got a couple of her books which I've I've read parts of yeah, I know parts, but what I've read, I've been impressed with. So, Danu Forest, she's very good. So, to help you along, those are the people to start with. Philip Cargon, Penny Billington, and Danu Forest. Anyway, so, back to Philip. I'm going to come back to Philip now. Um, let me just see if there's more comments. Um, Rob's going to get back into drumming. I have plans. This is one of the things I'm planning on doing this year is making my drum. I'm just waiting for the person that I contacted to get back to me about a a workshop so as I can make it. So yeah, a lot of us are going to be into drumming this year, I think, which is a very good thing. Yes, again, there's lots of about holding a book, a physical object that is just, and again, yeah, they are made of trees which is both problematic for me uh, but also enlightening because the information's in the book but the tree had to be cut down to make the paper but there's um, you know there's a lot more recycling of paper these days so it's not quite as bad as it used to be so I'm, I'm a little bit more relaxed about it um, and if, if I need to read then I need the book. So, um, oh, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Yes, I like that idea. 10 minutes a day, focus on something, build on it. Yeah, we can all work on that. That's great. Thank you, Sherry. Um, um, I kind of get behind on all the comments. I might just skip to the end. Does anybody mind if I skip to the end? La 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 la. Uh, True craft, amazing book, loved it. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, okay, I think I've got to the end. So yeah, we're all talking about drumming. I'm sure you've already or, already read all the comments. So I skip I skip to the end. So anyway, um, so yeah, we're all. I, there's lots that we're all going to be doing, I think, this year. Um, and again, Sherry's right. I actually hadn't thought about that. But yeah, choose to share their knowledge in that way by providing the material for books. Sherry, you are wise. Yes, you are. Thank you. Yes, you've... Uh, on the last show, you I, 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 you did, uh, you, you uh, moved my attention away from one, uh, from the more negative aspects of the, we'll just call it the incident, to, uh, and how I was going to deal with it, to a more positive way. So thank you again. Um, and back to Philip. Yeah, so he's written many books on many 
many books on druidry, on magic, on various other topics. Uh, he's a great writer. And Rob and I had the opportunity to test a online course he had developed called Lessons in Magic. Now, I've, on one of last year's shows, we were talking about magic um, and what it is and what it does and what it shouldn't do. So I thought I'd just reference that and reference his course. It's not a very long course, seven weeks, and it's not a super expensive course either. I can't actually remember what the price is. Can you remember, Rob? I'm not entirely sure, but anyway. So, um, I want to introduce you to that as well. And there's there's a book that went, I mean, he developed his course from his book. Um, now, we haven't got a link to this book, but it's on Amazon, so it'll be there. So that's his book, Lessons in Magic. It's not a very thick book, but it's fascinating. And the course itself wasn't what I expected it to be. When we this this course, it was I mean, it was it was really enlightening. Oh yes, the price, the price of the course, Rob. If you've uh, if you've got a moment, um, this. Uh, Okay, so we're looking around, let's call it around $70 somewhere. Um, so, but what this course does, it doesn't give you, it does not, I'm stressing that, it does not give you um, the, a bunch of spells or or potions and concoctions and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't give you any of that. What this course does is prepare you to actually take your initial steps in real magic and what real magic is and what it does, what it can do for you, and what it can do for the world. This is preparing you in a really fundamental way to actually be able to do it properly. To, um, there we go, three, it can be in three payments of 35 pounds, dollars, pounds. Anyway, either way, it's not massively expensive but it's i mean rob will tell you that it was a really really valuable course and i found it really really valuable as well i mean i'd done lots of things over the years and blah 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 but this gave me some very important information and even more important revelations and insights into myself and for that 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 elevated the course to a much higher place than i i could have thought it i would have thought it bleh. It made it awesome. There you go. So it was, I'd highly recommend it. it. And if, even if you're not, 
I suppose, into magic magic. Um, you know, it's, it's still got information in there, the way he, he approaches the subject. Um, anyway, so it's, uh, it, it's good. It's good. So if anybody was interested in that, or you might know somebody who might be interested in it, then it's, there's a, um, a link somewhere that will get up for you um, to have a a look at it. And there's uh, there's a there's a way of having a quick look, a look at it to see if it's it's going to be right for you anyway. Um, so. I'm just looking to see if we got the link somewhere. Oh, well, it'll turn up sooner or later. Um, and we'll get it on there. Yes, and there's, that was, the, yeah. Um, Phillips, I mean, if you look him up, he's got his own website and blog pages and things like that. So he's, you know, he's, he's well worth looking up. And... He does a a show uh, a, a live a live broadcast on the Obod Facebook page on a Monday night called Tea with a Druid. So most of the time it's him, but there's often guest speakers when he's away, which he is now. He's just flown off to New Zealand for three weeks, I think. Yeah, three weeks, something like that so yeah you can find his work around and about anywhere um there's the a, a link thing there for philip so there's um you can you can find his stuff out and about in the world um, it's easy to find out. So uh, I'd recommend his work hugely. Him and Penny, you you won't go wrong with their work ever. That's my, and you have my personal guarantee on that. Not that that personal guarantee is worth anything at all. Just saying. Um, yeah, so we both found the the that Rob and I both found that class completely different than we expected, but it's one of those things, isn't it? You give them what you need, what not what you want all the time. Yeah experiential yeah i mean th again that comes entirely from the way we work druidically sometimes words are difficult um the work we do in druidry is experiential it's what it, you know it, the Rob's right here with, with what he's saying now. The intellect can get in the way, and yes, it can. We still need it, and we still need to, I want to say analyze, but analyze isn't quite the right word. Analyze the experiences that we have in a way. Um, but we need to feel them, experience them first. And that's where the what we do in Druidry. So that's how his course was created with that experiential um, method. Method, yeah. So um, what have I done? 
I press buttons and sometimes I don't know what I'm pressing. <laughs> oh, this is the um, um, link to Philip's course. So, yeah, it's uh, it's great. It really, it really is. It, it's a, it's a preparation for the self, the person taking the course, to do the magic that they need to do. See, this is, I mean, this is one of the things I found about, found about it when when I was doing it was that all the, when you get when you go find a book on magic apart from this lessons in magic which is the you know the basically the genesis of that course apart from that you go out you go into the world and you go into a bookshop or onto the internet and you find um, a book on magic it tells you to do this and do that and do whatever else you know for a particular ritual or a particular spell or whatever it may be this this takes you to that point before then where you need to know what you actually intend to do but and why and make you think about it before you do it just in case you need to think about it in a different way it's i mean the books out there and it's not a lot of money so you know it's uh it's it's, it's definitely well worth a thought as a as a present to yourself definitely a present to yourself um right i've got more have i got more comments no not yet so yeah there's uh i think we've all got may big plans this year big plans i've got mine um there's um i've got the druid retreat in may that's going to be very exciting um let's just bring this up from rob for those expecting spells i offer this quote directed at me i'm not a new i'm not a new ager I'm not going to give you a bunch of little spells to play with. <laughs> yeah, it's not new age. No, it's old, the old ways. So, um, anyway, where was I? Yeah, so, retreat in May. Um, I've got Tracy and Jen visiting in... March. I've got lots of work to do, which I'm really excited about. I'm hope, like I said, I'm hoping to get this, get on this workshop about making my drum. And oh, some of it is just going to be seeing what the year brings. Um, oh, all right, there's going to be lots of stones and crystals in there somewhere in the mix. There always is. This is me. You know what I'm like. Oh, I'm going to show you this. Ah. I acquired this the other day because the name intrigued me. Um, so here she is. Where's the camera? There we go. So this, it has two names. There you go. Can you see that? That is a blue onyx, but it's also known as... Um, Lemur Lemurian Aquitaine, and I just love the name. So there we go. So Neshi 
would like to know if I'm coming to the States in 2019. This is the part that I honestly don't know. I want to say yes. I really do want to say yes. But at the moment, especially since the the incident um, and ha having to buy a new car, I'm not... I'm not sure at the moment. I am going to be working on it. So we will have to wait and see. So all I can say on the, to answer that question is watch this space. Um, we'll see. I'm, I'm, I want to be hopeful and say yes. But my... The cautious part of my brain is saying, ah, eh, just maybe, 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 maybe. So maybe. We'll see. Um, uh, hang on. Uh, I'm missing. There we go. So, yes, Blue Onyx, known, known as Lemurig, Lemurian Aquitaine Calcite, I think, was its name. I'd, but it's not a calcite. But anyway, Lemurian Aquitaine, it's a fabulous name. Uh, and this, if you do come across the pond, we will create a space for you to teach here at Star Nations Academy. Well, thank you very much, Neshi. Thank you very much. I will keep you informed and let you know. I have a question for you, by the way. It's in my head. Did you look at the book? Um, so what is there we go oh no i'm pressing the wrong bit yeah lemurian aquitaine so yeah go and have a look at it i just saw it and i've had this thing about lemuria recently possibly the last couple of years anyway um we have to go into that another time. Um, so, how am I doing? yeah, no, that's the end of one. Um, so yeah, watch this space. We'll see. I will let you know. So yes, there's lots. Uh, there's lots to be done. I am one of those people that wants to do it all now sometimes it can be a bit difficult not to get over excited and plow straight in and overwhelm myself so i'm not doing that i'm not overwhelming myself i'm just going to take each day and each step as it comes and try and do the best with it that i can sometimes that might not be as effective as it could be and sometimes it might be better than I expected but I am just gonna do my best and the best with the year and the best for my mum and the best for the people around me and the best for myself and we'll see where that takes us and ultimately, I think that's all any of us can do, is the best that we can. And if we think we can do better, well, maybe that just gives us a reason to try and do better or be better. And not just for other people, but for ourselves as well. In a good way, not in a... negative and as a word and I can't think of it 
but let's not if we don't quite achieve what we want to at any particular time let's not beat ourselves up about it let's just learn from that moment and do better next time what do you think i think that's what we need to do just the best we can and not get bent out of shape when things don't quite go according to plan like in December <laughs> <laughs> anyway the hour is up I have to go and get my car so I will see you all again next month and I am going to, I don't know what I was going to say now. Anyway, I'm going to go and I'll think about what we're going to talk about next month as we uh, over the next couple of weeks. And I'm going to try and make it something really interesting for you. So until then, have a glorious day and I shall see you then next month. Bye everybody.